the body around a little bit. If you're like me, you've probably been sitting on the couch all day or maybe not lounging, but doing work from home on the computer. So it's just kind of forward fold with your feet wide. Put a little bend in your knees and just move yourself a little bit side to side. Just getting the movement, the blood circulating, the juices going in your joints. And feel free to get creative with the movement. You can rotate through the balls and the heels of your feet. You can move your hands to shake out your shoulders. Whatever feels right. And then we'll pause in the center. Put your left hand down between your feet. Inhale, reach up high through your right fingers. If you want to go deeper twist, you can wrap the right hand towards your inner left thigh. Breathe to open up your chest. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, put your hand down. And then inhale, reach your left arm high. So even though this is in an asana class, we're still going to be working on mindful movement, using our breath to move our body one breath at a time. So if you ever feel like you're causing tension, causing stress, you wanna see how you can check in your mind on your body to release it all. Now bring it to the center with your knees bent and slowly like a rag doll, just roll up. Maybe play with spreading your toes, stretching them on the mat and feel how that goes to the rest of your body. Inhale, reach your arms up high. And then as you exhale, take your left hand to your right ear, your right arm down your side, maybe flex the palm towards the floor. Get a little extra out of the stretch of your neck, gentle though. Inhale, bring it up to the top. And then exhale, switch sides. Take your right hand to your ear, your left palm down. Breathe into the opening, just let it go. And then inhale, bring it up to the top. Exhale, just move your hand in circles, getting the wrist joints going. And bring yourself so that you're standing with your feet together. Now we're gonna start with just a little bit of the cardio. So move yourself towards the left side of your mat a little bit so you can move right. Feet are gonna be turned out. You're gonna step out with the right and back with the right. Out and back, out and back. Try to get low when you step out. Out and back, out and back, out and back. Four, eight, seven, six, three, five. Soften your face, four, that's it, last three. Two, you're gonna hold the wide leg stance and pulse. Try to sit down low into your goddess or your deep ground plie, little pulse. Now you wanna take the bones out. Focus on lifting up like you want and going down like you want. Eight, seven, six, that's it. And remember to breathe, five, Four, three, two, you're gonna stay here. Just lift your right heel up and pull. So you can bring your hands to the center. Soften and lengthen through your fingers. Stay low, close it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You're gonna take your heel down, step your right leg back, and pulse. Woo. Starting to get a little warm. Head up as your tailbone lengthens down. Long spine. Pulse it out. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, we're gonna bring our hands to the center and you're gonna exhale and twist left. Strong exhales. 
Belly to the spine. Eight, seven, six, five, you got it. Four, three, two, one. Reach your arms up to the left. You're gonna crunch the right knee and step it back. Exhale, inhale, one breath for movement. Low in your left leg when it comes down. Do something with your right foot. You can flex, you can point, but engage it so your whole body's working. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step it wide out to the right. From here, you're gonna step it back and side. Right back to where we started, but with the left leg back and side, back and side. That's it, breathe. Try to get low, back and side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Last one, you're gonna hold it wide and pulse. Press it down. Try to get your knees out wide over your big and second toe. Control, up and down. Three. Woo. Let it get a little spicy, keep it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, you're gonna lift the left heel and pulse. Try to keep it low. Stretch through the inner thighs. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step it back and pulse. You can do whatever you want with your arms, but stretch your fingers, breathe deep. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hands in prayer. Exhale, twist right. Cleansing your internal organs. Also toning the core. Twist. to the right, crunch left elbow, left knee, and back. Reach and exhale. Bending into your left or your right knee. When you come down, crunch and reach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and step it out wide, toes out, heels in. Bend your knees and just press your left elbow down over your right shoulder. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Bring it back to the center. Take your right shoulder down, roll your chest open. Deep breaths. Bring it toes to the center, fold it forward. Locate your weights or your heavy object and come up to standing. All right, now we got the blood pumping a little bit. We're gonna get our arms in motion. So take your feet, hips width distance. Take your weights so that they're resting on your thighs. Lengthen your tailbone down, lift the crown of your head up. Arms go forward. Down, side, down, curl, down. Nice, slow, steady motion, three-part arm set. 
Slow when you bring your weights down. No momentum. Forward, down, side, down, curl, down. Forward, down. Now if you want more, you can add your legs, a squat. So sit, stand, down, up, curl, up, forward, up, side, up, curl, up, forward, up, side, up, curl, up, forward, eight. You got it, nice deep breath, slow and steady, seven, control movement, strong from the core, soft in your body so there's no tension. Relax your jaw, relax your tongue, we're almost there. This is it, last four. Count with me if you want, three. <laughs> last two. Last one, this is it. Forward, down, side, down, curl, down. All right, keep your hands where they are. Elbows in line with your shoulders. You're just gonna press your palms forward and back. Forward and back. So we're gonna keep moving, but we'll probably do some stuff to take the heart rate down and then get it up again. Little spikes, little bursts. So if you need a break, just recover. Otherwise, with intention, push it forward, pull back, forward, pull back. Long spine, take your tongue between your two front teeth, soften the jaw, breathe. Whew. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. All right, take both weights or just one weight, whatever you want, in your right hand. You're gonna turn and face the short uh, side of your mat. Left leg forward, right leg back. Kind of like a warrior A with your legs. So the left toes point straight forward, right foot's 45 degree. Take your left hand on your left thigh, square off. Reach your right arm forward, and then nice and steady, pull it back, reach it front. Pull and reach, pull and reach. You wanna to try to keep your arm parallel to the side of your body, lifting from the lower belly. Lengthen your tailbone down towards the right heel. Pull and reach. Pick a spot to look where your neck stays long. That way we don't have any kinks in the spine. Pull and reach. Pull and reach. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Hold it back. Extend your arm long. Little pulse up. Now make sure you're not taking your hips away from square. So just check in, pull your left hip back, crush your right chest front, little lift, push it up, up, up. Now remember you can always drop one of the weights if it gets to be too much. Long, straight wrist, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now from here, keep your hand behind your hip. Press your palm over towards the left. Press, press, press. Left hip back, right hip front, stay square. Press, press. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take your right knee down. Bring your left knee down as well. If you need a little uh, cushioning, you can always just roll your mat. You're going to take one weight in each hand. Take your hands above the top of your head. 
Now go ahead and let yourself back bend for a second. Heels nice. But then take that back bend out. Pull your hips to your ribs. Imagine you're standing on a wall behind you. You're just going to bring your elbows down and up. Down and up. Eyes straight forward. Maybe imagine you have a peach between your chin and your chest. So the back of your neck stays long. Now you can keep it simple or you can add the legs coming up and down, up and down, up and down. Try not to thrust forward, control the lift, up and down. Remember to breathe. Inhale when you lift, exhale when you lower, inhale and exhale, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, sit down on your hips if you aren't. Take your weights out from under you. Set one of them to the side, but keep one in your right hand. You're gonna come forward to a tabletop. So elbows underneath the shoulders, hands underneath your elbows, knees underneath your hips, gaze on the ground long through the back of your neck. Your right arm is just gonna fly out and in. So now this is actually more about what's stabilizing than what's moving. More about holding your body in one position while the right arm moves independently than it is about moving your right arm. Slow when you bring the arm down. Inhale and exhale. Nice steady breath. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. All right, go ahead, take the weight, put it behind your right knee. Now you can do this exercise without the weight as well. If you want a little extra, just put it in, but make sure that you don't um, drop it and hurt yourself. So just be careful. Find your tabletop, hands underneath the shoulders. You're going to take the right heel up and bring it in. Lift and lower. Feel your inner thighs roll against each other. Let your glutes be what lift the leg up. Now you can keep it nice and simple like this. If you want a little bit added stability challenge, when you bring your knee down, tap your left elbow down. Tap and lengthen. Tap and lift. Or keep on going how you were the other way. That's it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Finish with both palms on the mat. Heel to the ceiling, just a little lift. Press the heel up, up, up. Remember to look at the spot where the wrinkles go out of your forehead, where the front and the back of your spine feel long and supported. Breathe. Nice deep breath. Little lift. Push it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Open your knee out to the side and then turn it at a 45 degree angle. You're just gonna lift it, press it up, up. Now notice if you shift your body weight one side to the other on your hands. Try to keep it centralized. Flex or point the right foot, but do something, make a choice. Push it up, up. Up, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring your right knee down. Take the weight out, put it to the side, and then take your right hand back to the tabletop. 
We're gonna keep on going with the right side glutes. Extend your right leg behind you, chest forward, little lift, up and down, up and down. Point the toes, extend through your entire leg. Now you can add the arm if you want that extra. Arm goes down when your leg goes up, or not if you don't want that little extra. Extend active through the right toes, down and up, down and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold your leg up. You're going to tap your leg to the right side of your mat. Draw a rainbow, tap it left, side to side. Now you want to keep your hips from moving. Again, this is all about what is stabilizing. So the muscles that aren't moving as opposed to the ones that are. Nice long neck. Extend through your toes. That's it, good. Four, eight. Seven, keep breathing. Six, soften your jaw. Five, soften your fingers. Four, almost there. Last three, this is it. Two, and one. All right. Bring your right knee down, slide onto your stomach, and then roll to your left side on the mat. So you're going to bring your left forearm down, or you can lay down all the way on the left side. Take your right knee, put it in front of your left leg. Your foot can be down on the floor, or your knee can be down, it doesn't really matter. Your right hand is going to help you stabilize, and then activate your left foot. So imagine you're standing on the wall that's um, on the other side of your mat. From here, you're just going to lift the left leg off the floor and down. Lift and lower. You want to try to get your whole leg all the way up to the hip off the floor. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now, taking your right hand in front of you actually helps you get the hips to stack. Lift and lower. Breathe. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keep the left foot working. Left leg long and active. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it up. Take your left leg forward and back. Forward and back. Hold it off the floor as high as you can. You want to try to keep your upper body, your hips from moving, just the left leg. Forward and back. Forward and back. That's it for eight. Seven, almost there. Six. Five. Four. Last three. Two. And one. Take your knees together about 45 degrees from your hips. Heels together, toes apart. Now your right hand can be on the floor. That's a good way to help your hips stay stacked. You do want the right hip on top of the left. If you don't need that as your reminder, you can take your right hand to your right hip. Or if you want a little bit extra spice, grab your weight, put it on your right thigh. If you want more too, you can take your heels off the floor. You're going to bring your knee down and up, down and up. Now remember, keep the hips stacked. You don't want to roll one way or another. Bring it down and up, down and up. Getting all parts of our booty today. Down and up, down and up. Four, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, 
and one. All right, take your heels down. Um, I'm going to, I guess actually you could keep them up, but I'm getting tired. From here, I'm gonna take my right knee forward and then click my heels. Take the right knee forward and click. Forward and click. Forward and click, that's it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. From here, just lift. Lift. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Let it burn. Three. Two. And one. All right, go ahead and roll onto your back. Stretch out the right glutes, the right hips. Take a figure four with the right side. And you can either pull the left leg towards you if that feels good. If you'd rather, maybe you cradle the right foot in your left elbow, the right knee in your right elbow. Whatever feels best for you to release the muscles in your hip. Maybe big breath in. And ah, let it go. All right. So from here, cross your right leg over the left leg. Now, you can take an eagle wrap if you have that in your body, but if not, just wrap it around. Take your right arm underneath your left, maybe eagle wrap with the hand. But no matter what, take your hands to the floor and your feet to the floor apart. Take a big inhale, and then exhale, crunch it in. Inhale and exhale. So we're making the most out of this time that we're on the mat. One breath. Exhale when you crunch. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, from here, unwind your hands and your legs. Pull your knees in toward your chest. Start to rock forward and back. Bring yourself all the way forward. Maybe use your hands and then look at your weights. If you want both of your weights again, we'll do the other side. All right, so both weights in your left hand. Take your right foot front. Your right hand can be on your right thigh, maybe on your right hip, but just wherever it helps your mind to square off. Gaze on the ground, you pull it back, and press. Pull, and reach. Forearm parallel to your body. Pull, and reach. Pull, and reach. Relax the wrinkles out of your forehead. It's not going to help you with your arm. When you release the muscles in your body that you're clinging to, causing tension, it allows you to relax into the effort and really activate those harder to find muscles. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold it back, extend the arm, little press. Just check off with your squareness, right hip back, left chest front, long back, little tuck of the chin to keep the back of the neck connected with your spine, little press. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold your hand behind your hip. Press the palm to the right. Press, keep the hips square. Just the arm moves, about an inch, nothing more. Press, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
two, and one. You're bringing your left knee down. Step your right knee to meet it. Go ahead and roll up the mat if you need that extra padding. One weight in each of your hands. Take your hands, elbows in line with your shoulders. You're just gonna push it up and pull it down. Press and pull. Now you can keep it simple. If you want that challenge, add the legs. So you'll pull when you stand up. That's it, strong belly. Connect with your breath. Shoulders down, lengthen your spine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Find your seat, ditch the weight that's in your right hand. Find a tabletop, right hand underneath your right shoulder, left hand holding the weight. Lengthen your spine, pull the belly button in, left arm flies out and in. So remember, this is more about holding the whole body stable than it is about moving the left arm in a big motion. More work if you bring the arm down slowly. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so you'll take the weight. Or not, if you don't want that extra, put it underneath the left knee. Plant both hands underneath your shoulders. Make sure that the weight is secure. It's not going to fling. From here, nice and steady through your body. Left leg goes up and down. Up and down. You want to make sure you're not arching your back to lift the leg. Up and down. Up. And down. And my dog just walked through, but I'll tell you one thing I've learned in the last couple days <laughs> is that anytime I'm walking with her on the street, I get so much smiles. So if you need a little smile right now, she just came and helped you up. Lift it for eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, you're almost there. Last two. Hold it up, little press. Lift, lift. Reach the heel to the ceiling. Pull your belly button to your spine, your hips to your ribs. Little lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's try eight more. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, hold it up, take your knee to the side, turn it down 45 degrees, little lift, 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 lift. Try to keep the weight even in both hands, lift, lift, Woo. eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. All right, take the weight out. Put your left hand on the mat. Extend your left leg long. So we forgot to do the upper body part, but we can add it in now. So you can just keep with the left leg lifting. If you want more, the right arm comes down. Extend long through your right toes. Equal weight in both hands, right side and left side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. 
Give it eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both hands plant. Take your left foot out to the left. Draw your big hook. Lift it up. Tap it right. Up. Tap it left. Remember, you don't want to move your body. You just want to remove the leg. Isolation. Lift and lower. That means you don't have to do as big of an arc. Maybe you don't lift your leg as high. Maybe you don't take it as far from side to side. You want to let the muscle do the work rather than the momentum. That's it. Long through the toes. You've got it. Eight. Seven. This is it. We're almost there. Six. Five. Four. Three. And one. Whew. All right. Go ahead and lay down on your right side. Right forearm can be on the mat or lay all the way down. Extend your right leg. Take your left leg over the top, however is comfortable. Left hand to help you stabilize. Get your hips stacked. Flex the right foot. Lift it up and down. Lift and lower. Remember, try to get as much of your leg off the floor as you possibly can. Lift it up and lower. Try not to move your foot in some weird, twitchy way. Imagine it's just relaxed, like it's on the floor, bearing your body weight. That way your whole body gets into that alignment. Active right leg, your whole leg. Lift and lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, take it forward and back, forward and back. Remember to keep the foot equal, inside and outside on the same plane, Lift your leg as high as you can. Forward and back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set your right leg down. You're going to stack your knees. 45 degree angle, make sure your left hip isn't rolling back or forward, just right on top. You can use your left hand for a kickstand. You can hold it on your hip, add that extra, grab the weight. Maybe heels off the floor, heels apart, or sorry, heels together, toes apart. Push it down and up, down and up. So we're getting into the whole glutes today. Get a nice stretch when you're done. Make sure you drink a lot of water. Keep you hydrated. Crunch it down and up. Breathe. So while you're working your leg, you also want to make sure your spine is growing. So while your glutes are strengthening, it gives you a base to extend the head, lengthening the upper body. Eight. When you do that, it means your core is working. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, take your bottom knee down. You're gonna tap it knee, heel, knee, heel, knee, heel. This is it, we're almost done with this part of the series. Knee to heel, keeping your hips in line so that you don't roll to get the knee. You stabilize, maybe you don't even tap all of it. That's okay. <laughs> tap and tap for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. All right, keep your knee there. Just push it down. Down, this is it. Down. Down, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and roll onto your back. We'll stretch out the left glutes and hips by taking your same figure four. So whatever variation works for you on the other side, you can go ahead and take that here. Remember to practice breathing. So you're not just tensing your shoulders and your neck to stretch your hip because that really serves no purpose. And just like with the strengthening, if you use the hip stretch to help you find space in your spine, you'll end up getting more room in your hip too. So feel your shoulder blades melt down to the floor. Let the tension out of your neck. Breathe, big inhale. Exhale, let it go. All right, so from here, I'll find that eagle wrap again. So um, if you have the full hook, go ahead and take it, left leg over the right. Take your left arm underneath the right palms together or just hands together like in prayer is fine. Take your fingers over your head, big inhale, exhale, crunch. Inhale and exhale. That's it, good. Keep it going, breath by breath. Exhale when you crunch.
two, and one. Kick your heels down, lift your hips high, squeeze it in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. This is it, last push, lift your hips up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Breathe, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the inner thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll it down. Woo. All right, so from here, you're going to keep your weight in your hands. Come up to the seat. Plant your feet on the floor, hips with distance. You want even feet, so the, the feet are just as important as they were if they were holding all of your body weight, because that's going to make sure that your entire legs are actually engaged, your glutes, and that's actually going to help you use more of your core muscles. So get the contact and intelligence of your feet with the floor. One weight in each hand, elbows wide, lift your chest up, and then lean back, but only so far as you can keep that integrated feet with the rest of your body. So your legs and your arms and your upper body are connected by the core. That's what we're doing here. From here, you're going to exhale, twist your right, inhale to the center, exhale, twist left, inhale to the center. Strong exhale. To the right and to the left. All right. So from 
from here, you are going to bring your body up, rest onto your forearms, puff out the chest, lift your knees off the floor. You're going to do reverse bicycles. So again, try to take the momentum out of your legs. So try to think of your core as the middle ground of your body. It's connecting everything, all the extremities. So the more you focus on letting the extremities stretch, relax, rest, the more the core has to kick in and the more your body can find the right alignment. Three. Woo, firing up those lower abs. It's not easy to rest. Keep it going, reverse bicycles, almost there. Eight. Seven. Six. Exercise. You're going to come back to that nice balanced position on your forearms. Lift your knees up. Puff out to the heart. Twist your knees to the right. Center. Left. Center. Now you want to keep your upper body from moving. Your hips from moving. It's just your legs. So again, it's just reminding you the functionality of your core. It's not just to get six pack abs. These are so good for inversions, for finding a connection in your body, wiring those nervous channels. Side to side. You're almost there. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. All right, go ahead, lay yourself down. Reach your arms over your head, point your toes. Take a big inhale, stretch out your stomach. Open up your mouth, let it go. Again, take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. One last one, deep inhale. Exhale, release. Go ahead and pull your legs into your stomach. Roll yourself up to a seat. You'll butterfly your right knee in. Extend your left leg out. Take a little bit of a twist so that your belly button lines up with your left knee. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, stretch your hands towards your left foot. So remember, don't just hit the pause button when you get to the stretches. This is the most important part. This is how you can start to integrate all the strength building, the space building uh, into functional asana practice or just into being a better operational human. So deep breath, soften your face, enjoy the stretch. Slowly bring yourself up, and then just switch legs. So left leg in, right leg out. Give yourself that little twist again. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, stretch your hands towards your right foot. Soften your face. Maybe even let your eyes sort of close, but not totally close. Um, that way they're just relaxed. You're not deciding what they have to do. They're just being. Let your breath be, but to make it deep. You don't have to have anything too laborious or conscious in this pose. It's about letting go. And then slowly bring yourself up. Stretch both legs long in front of you. Inhale, reach your arms high, and then exhale, stretch towards your toes. And again, you can make it active with a flat spine. If it feels better for you, you can round your spine. Um, but whatever you 
your shoes, just make it something that serves you. And it's not something to enforce. And then slowly roll yourself up. Why your both, both knees out wide, bring the soles of your feet together. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, hold it forward. Bring it back to center, switch sides. Bring it to the center and just draw a couple circles with your neck, your upper body. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, if you feel like you need a little bit more stretching, definitely do that. Um, there's lots of other yoga classes. I'll be posting some, and um, I'm sure you can find exactly the stretch that you need. Thank you so much.